Okay, so first you identify who you want to attract, which is your dream customer, and then find out where they hang out, and then put out hooks that would bring them into your funnel, right? So yes. now let's say you, after you got them into your funnel, how do you convert them into paying customer? What do you do yeah. next? So um, you kind of alluded to it a little bit here. Like I have a, uh, in chapter four of the book, I talk about this framework called Hook Story Offer. Mm -hmm. And um, it's like the foundation of everything. Um, and uh, most people don't, don't think about it. So what a hook is, first off, the hook is the thing that grabs your attention, right? So I always think about like, if I'm sitting, or if, if my customer's at home on the couch and they're on their phone, they're bored out of minds, so they're, they're scrolling through, um, you know, they're scrolling through their, their feed or whatever. And like the hook is the thing that makes them stop. Like, why did they stop in the middle of the scroll? Like, wait, what is that, right? Like, that's the hook. So the hook can be anything from like the headline to the image to the background to like whatever it is, like the hook, everything we have, like grab their attention for a second. That's the hook. Then after we have their attention for a second, then we have this little window of time to tell them a story, right? And the goal of the story is to do two things. Number one is to build connection with the audience. And then number two is to increase the perceived value of whatever it is you're gonna offer, right? Uh, so for example, right now, like I can show you how Hook and Story works right now. Right now, you threw out a hook. You're like, Facebook Live, I'm going live, or Instagram Live, I'm going live, right? And uh, within like a minute, we had 900 people who jumped in really quick, right? And so that was the hook that got their attention. And then we've been telling stories, right? Telling stories about traffic and how you grow a company and about funnels. We're telling stories. And hopefully your audience is building, like hopefully they, you know, I'm sure some people might think that I talk too fast, but hopefully some of them are like, oh, this guy Russell is really nice, right? Yeah. So we build a connection, we build through story. And then I'm, we're telling stories about this book. And then the end of this, just here's the big surprise. We're going to offer you guys a copy to go get a free copy of the book. So then it's the offer. Now, if we've told the story good, we've built up the perceived value. Now you're like, I need to get this book. Like, that sounds amazing. I want, I want a copy of it. And then we make the offer. And so that's really the thing is like, after you find these people, it's like you throw a hook to get their attention. Then you tell them a story that hopefully will build a relationship with them. And then number two, it'll increase the perceived value of whatever you're trying to sell them. And then at the end, you make an offer. Like, here's the offer of the thing that I, I want to get to you. And so that's kind of how, how it works. And what's fun is like, when you start playing this funnel game, uh, hook story offer is, is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like in every ad, there's a hook, there's a story and an offer. In every landing page, there's a hook, there's a story offer. Every sales page, there's a hook, story offer. Every upsell page, like every page has that. And if for whatever reason, if an advertising campaign is not working or a funnel's not working uh, or just a certain step in the funnel's not working, it's always because of one of those three things. Either the hook's not grabbing their attention, the story's not building a relationship and building up the perceived value of the offer or the offer's no good. And it's always one of those three things. When you understand that, it becomes really easy. Like the internet marketing game becomes easier because you're like, I just have to become better at, at throwing out good hooks, better at telling really good mm -hmm. stories, and better at making offers. And if you get yeah. those three skills down, it makes it really, really easy.